Okay, so again, we've superimposed the wave functions for each one of the modes, n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., onto the energy act, onto their energy um, ladder, okay, their energy diagram. And so again, uh, the energy of this dotted line here, corresponding to this n equals 1 mode, is equal to h bar squared over pi squared divided by 2 ml squared, where, so again, n equals 1. For n equals 2, it's that same thing times four because if you remember the energies go as the energies go as the um, as a quantum number n squared okay so it's four times the times the ground state energy the third uh, level is nine has nine times as much energy and the fourth level has 16 as much 16 times as much energy and we've superimposed the uh, the uh, wave functions on these energy diagram on this energy diagram where again the energy level for each uh, for each state uh, serves as the zero axis for the for the wave function. Now if we want to know the probability density right then we have to apply plot psi star psi so again this is these are real functions so we just have to square the wave function and then we get something like this so again for n equals one we get uh, something with a single um, a single uh, antinode um, which tells us that interestingly um, for the zeroth order, for the lowest energy state, the um, the ground state, we have uh, the largest chance of finding the particle near the center of the box, and a very low chance of finding the particle near the ends of the box, near near the walls of the box. Now, keep in mind that we, we recall that the classical prediction was that the probability for finding the particle in the box was uniform. That is, it would be a straight line. Uh, on such a graph, and uh, so this is uh, this this uh, quantum prediction is radically different from the um, from the uh, uh, classical prediction. Nevertheless, they have to agree in some limit, as we'll discuss in a second. If we square the n equals two um, state, we get again two probability humps. So the particle is, is more is most likely to be found here and here and not at all uh, possible it's not at all possible to find the particle actually in the center of the box. Similarly for the n equals three state, the third state, the second excited state, uh, the particle can't be found at these antinodes. It's, uh, it's, it's not possible to find the particle in these antinodes. If the wave if the particle is in the um, it has this energy nine times e1, so if it's in this um, uh, n equals three state, then we would not find the particle in these at these antinode positions, and similar for uh, n equals four. Now, now notice that as you go up in energy, that is, if you go up in in quantum number n, then the number of wiggles that you get increases. Okay, and the the distance between the antinodes gets smaller and smaller, and so you can guess for a really large quantum number, uh, you know, some really large number, uh, some really large n, that you'd have the the antinodes would be spaced very very closely, and that basically corresponds to the um, to the classical limit, as um, as I'll discuss in a second. There's something in quantum mechanics called the um, the correspondence principle that says that quantum mechanics has to give you uh, predictions which agree with with normal classical mechanics um, in the limit in the um, uh, in the appropriate limit that is in this case uh, for a very large uh, for, for massive particles and a uh, macroscopic uh, well okay so now we have found the energies and we found the wave functions and in this graph we've superimposed them and here we've basically superimposed the probability density on top of the energy levels okay um, just to make sure that we all have the same kind of that we are using the same language, the the lowest energy state, the n equals one, is called the ground state, and again it has the lowest possible energy. So we see a departure from the classical case. In 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 quantum mechanics, the lowest energy state is not equals is not e equals zero. Okay, you can't actually have a particle in this box that doesn't move that has no mechanical energy. So the mechanical energy cannot be equal to zero according to quantum mechanics. Um, it turns out that this energy is uh, uh, h bar squared over pi squared over 2 ml squared is very very small uh, on uh, for quantum particles because h bar is very small.